Yo, what's going on, players? This is Sabre 24. We got our first match with our Torterra deck in the standard format. Torterra with Cherim and Bibaro. Are they going to be a team that's going to succeed? A team of evolution Pokemon. They got to work together if they're going to work. Torterra needs all of his buddies. Otherwise, he won't be able to do any damage. So, I Mulligan here, which isn't really a surprise. I actually don't have a lot of basic Pokemon in this deck. And I should have mentioned this in the deck profile too. It's basically nine basic Pokemon. And most people would say that's standard. But I usually want to have like at least 11, 10 sometimes if I don't have a choice. But, you know, it is what it is. We have a lot of Marnie, so hopefully we can counter that. I'm going to open with a Turtwig. Not surprising. And we're going to get another Turtwig with our level ball. So that I make sure I can get that Grottle out. And then we can search more Pokemon. And go for Marnie. Now, my opponent opened up with this uh, regular Zekrom, which what it does is it does a lot of damage or a decent amount of damage for a basic legendary, like 120, 130, or whatever. And then you insta paralyze your opponent's Pokemon, but he has to do like 60 damage to himself, too, that kind of thing. And it looks like he is running a fluffy deck. Uh, so I guess it's going to be Fluffy with the Zekrom, and he has that uh, Reggie, Regieliki, what's the name? One of the new Reggies that are cool. Uh, one of the few good things about the Sword and Shield games and the DLC. Uh, Regieliki, I think it's called, Re Regieliki, whatever. And that's a, a sniper too. So we're going to get rid of our opponent's stadium for Pat to the Peak. It's probably going to be useless because I think this guy is running just regular Pokemon too. Uh, he filled his bench. All of those are regular Pokemon. I mean, he, he has at least two of those Regis. So I guess he is favoring those types of Pokemon as opposed to using something like Rayquaza or Boltunt. But it's fine. I mean, it is what it is. It's going to be a showdown between regular Pokemon, which should be cool. Entertaining at the very least. See who can come out on top. And it's one of the only chances you got to do well with uh, Torterra. You know, lesser decks. If you got to play against the top decks, I mean, it's what we have the deck uh, built upon to play against the big decks, but it's not always going to be pretty. So I'm in the process of setting up. I have two Grottles. I think I will be able to survive. I mean, if he does attack and kills the Grottle, then it is what it is. We'll take that L, but I just had to get that search from that guy's effect. And I know that he'll damage himself too, at the very least. Uh, the paralysis isn't really going to matter. So, Fluffy is out. He's going to start getting the Dynamotor effect. I mean, I would really like to utilize this card a lot more in standard, but it's just the frogs ruin it for me. I mean, if I was using the frogs right now in a deck, this guy would have no chance. Uh, but we're not, so I guess he can, he he gets to have a chance to, to do something against me here with my deck. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see what he can do. I mean, these big, uh, regular basic legendary Pokemon, uh, they can do some decent damage, but they're not really all that. And Torterra is actually going to be able to survive against them. Uh, so that's good. Uh, somehow, some way our stage two is going to survive we can get more attacks out of them. So get the Cherim out, and with Grottle, I'm going to get uh, the next Grottle, and we're going to get, hmm, well, now we got to get Torterra for sure if I want to attack. So we're going to go for it, and with three evolution Pokemon, I do enough damage, 150 to get one hit knockouts on all of his dudes. So it should be good. I don't even need to get more Pokemon out uh, at once. So let's put the energies with Cherim, set up our dudes so that I don't have to worry about that, and draw more cards with Marnie. I can use Gloria just to get two basic Pokemon, but I don't, I'm not really feeling that. I'd rather just go for Marnie, and then we can see more things that we can use. Uh, didn't really see that, but okay. 
Let's see. And I'm just going to go for Evil Press. Let's just get the KO here. And we go from there. So get my first prize. And now we're even. Get the Ordinary Rod. That's probably going to be handy later on. Uh, Grottle, I mean, one sort of set of the Grottle line died already. But what can you do? Am I right? Promoted the Fluffy. Unfortunately, I, I couldn't even have space to put one tool scrapper in this deck. So he is going to be able to take full advantage of that air balloon fluffy there. You know, free retreat pivot, which the dynamoto decks always needed. And uh, looks like this time is going to use the regiela key and uh, grabbed boss's orders too. I mean, I don't know what he's going to do with that. Uh, looks like he is going to use it. He's going to kill the Cherum, but to be honest, that doesn't really matter. You should have killed Bidoof, uh, to be honest. You know, once I do get a few energies on my dudes, then the manual attachments are enough. I mean, we still want the Cherum down because it counts as an evolution Pokemon, so I can get that damage. So he's thinking here that, okay, if I kill the Cherum, I'm going to decrease your damage. And that is true. But I'm going to make sure I uh, get the barrel out here. And we can still get that get that KO, basically. I, I need to get one hit KOs and sort of match his one hit KOs if we're going to win this game. So grab Turtwick and Grottle, put them in the deck. And grab a Grass Energy too, why not, I guess. And then I got to use the Skylar here, get an Incense, and get the... Uh, the barrel. I'm not going to be able to really draw cards with it because our hand is huge. But just to make sure I get the KO here. And we can go from there. Now, it is very positive for me. Uh, he did get that lead, but it is positive for me in that with Torterra's 190 HP, eventually I'm going to have the advantage. He's not really going to be able to uh, get one hit knockouts on my main attacker. So. I got the advantage in that sense. I mean, I will be able to eventually outpace him if things go according to plan. So let's use uh, the barrel's effect. Draw two cards. It's decent enough. And play the other Bidoof down. I only have one barrel anyway, but I guess that's a bluff. Get it out of our hand. I mean, at the end of the day, I will need to get more evolution Pokemon out. I need to get another Cherim, get more Grottles slash Torteras. Because I want to be able to be in that 150 range at the very least. I don't want him to just pick on another evolution Pokemon. And then I'm stuck to 100. Now I guess what we could do is... As you guys can see, I did put the third Grass Energy onto Terra. If I can have four on that guy, then it doesn't matter what he does. I can't get the one hit KO every turn. So, we'll see. Uh, his strategy... It doesn't seem like he's hiding any tricks. It's just these red yellows. Just keep attacking. Keep trying to apply pressure. You know, between the 120 damage and then the 40 on the bench, you do like 200 damage total. So it's going to add up. Sadly, I couldn't even fit in a Manaphy in this deck for bench protection. So eventually, the barrel is going to die. I'm going to go for Oak right here. Get a Turtwig. Got the Grotto. And hmm, let's get the grass energy too. Put it on. Actually, I have already attached, so I can't put it anywhere. Let's get Torterra. I mean, I, I already ran out of gas here. Uh, so let's let's kill this dude. Just keep applying the pressure. Hopefully, I've run him out of attackers or something. Get a Cherubi from the prizes. So we have a few of the Pokemon in the prizes. So it's good that I collected Cher Cherubi. Get a Cherim later on, maybe. Just to have another evolution Pokemon down. But I probably will use the hammer and attack of Torterra next turn. And just go for that instant 160. Now, the, sp the spread is kind of dangerous of that Regielagi. He's going to be able to get two prizes right now. Kill the Barrel. Kill the Torterra, and then hit something else too. So that really sucks, goddammit. Uh, 
targeting the Torterra. That's the smart thing. So I'm in that range to die once again. We are going to be able to retaliate, but he's collecting two prizes over here. So I think I'm not really going to have much of a choice. We're going to go for the rare candy here just to make sure that Turtwig is fully safe. I mean, at this point, I'm just going to have to get by with these guys. You know, just searching with Grottle. Uh, my deck is so thin, I think I can just see everything that I need. Yeah. So, get the Cherim from the deck with my Stadium. And Schoolgirl, draw four cards. Only ten left in the deck. I mean, we're just going to have to get by what we have. I don't really have anything else. I get the last Turtwig, play it down. And level ball, just get that out of my hand. Just in case I shuffle and draw. So, hammer in. It's a good thing I prepared this uh, Torterra with four energies. Otherwise, we weren't going to be able to get a KO here. Now, once this Torterra dies, then I will be able to use Evil Press for the necessary damage after I evolve it to the other guys. But he just needs to just brick because if you can keep attacking he will outpace me here so I'm at 2, he's at 2 but he's gonna get a KO with Zekrom that sucks the next Torterra is gonna be able to kill that guy but then I just need him to not see anything next turn it's the only way for us to win uh, he's putting a bunch of energies on the fluffy which is kinda suspect I really hope he can't do something like boss's orders and just kills my small Pokemon or something but like, even Cherim with 80 HP, he can't kill the dude. Uh, Beedoof as well. Fluffy only does 50 damage. So, I think I should be good. But, it is a bit suspect why he put the energies on the Fluffy there. I guess maybe he's desperate. Maybe he thinks I am going to have to attack with Fluffy. So... I do enough damage here. Uh, we're going to use Cynthia too. Draw more cards. Uh, there's nothing really else that I need to dig for here. Even get rid of my stadium for Path of the Peak. Just in case he's going to do some shit. Uh, nothing to grab with Grottle. Okay. And just go for the attack. I'm at one prize. He's at one prize. Uh, you're not going to kill Torterra. So that's good. And... Like, even if you do some bosses order shit, I think I am good. I just don't want him to play a big basic down and then use bosses orders. Uh, then we're going to lose. But if he can't do that, I didn't Marnie on purpose because I think he doesn't have much in his hand. That's why I use Cynthia. He's going to play down the Zapdos, which would have been a dangerous Pokemon if he could snipe anybody. But it only snipes GXs and Vs. I actually did want that card to be able to snipe everybody, but it works out in my favor that he can't. So he's just going to use Peck, sort of uh, hinting me that, okay, it's game over. He surrendered right there with that move. And that's game. We're going to be able to finish him off with Torterra and get the last prize. So I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Share this with your friends. And I'll see you guys on the next one. What a...